Welcome back to the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List channel. I'm Live Action Animation, and oh my god, 2024 has definitely become S tier in anime. I mean, Crunchyroll started off with some bangers this year with solo leveling and natural magic and muscles. And even Adult Swim was like, hold my beer, homie. I got a monster called Ninja Kamui on deck. <laughs> but the main thread between all of these anime is that their main characters stand, stand on, on business. business. Which means if you mess around, you are most certainly going to find out. So here are 10 stand on business moments in anime where <laughs> got real. Gojo versus Jogo. Gojo is one of the strongest characters in JJK, and while you may not notice it right away because of his dashing good looks, if you mess around, you're for sure going to find out. Which is exactly what Jogo did, challenging Gojo to a fight. And Gojo was beating this dude so bad, y'all. He had to go get Ichidori to come learn some pointers on ass whooping too, okay? Jogo tried to use all of his dumb ass tricks and that did not work. In the end, Gojo unleashes his domain expansion, infinite void. And well, it's off with their heads for that. Deuces! Levi versus the Beast Titan. Levi is one of the most feared members of the Survey Corps. His ability to dismantle a Titan is unmatched to any other Attack on Titan character. So when the Beast Titan came throwing rocks and horses like baseballs and it was time for Levi to get him. And underestimating Levi was the biggest mistake the Beast Titan could have made. Cause Levi served him up with a little Titan a la cut your ass up. Slicing and dicing this big back gorilla, putting him on a charcuterie board. Cheese and crackers. Not the blade in the mouth though, that's just humiliating. And that beheading at the end, my God. he gone versus the Ninja Organization. Ninja Kamui has burst onto the scene with so much action and too many stand on business moments to count, so we'll just go with the hospital scene. This dude pulls a needle out of his hand, releasing his ultimate abilities, and just dog walks these ninjas. Karate chops this lady to knock her ass out so she won't get in the way, and then proceeds to obliterate these ninjas in the elevator and in the hallway of the hospital. Then, just like the final boss, this guy has to go up against this Terminator looking who was the one that killed his wife and son. So now he proceeds to not only mollywop, but I mean, he uses all of the combos from Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, and friggin' Killer Instinct together. All in a day's work, I guess. Mashal versus Carpaccio Lao Yang. Mashal is strong as hell, bruh. The dude has been training all his life. And I mean, I guess you have to do something when you ain't got no magical ability in a world full of people with magical abilities. But that never stopped Mash, especially when it comes to protecting those he cares about. So when Lao Yang had Finn hemmed up, Mash came through with ultra speed to aid his friend not knowing Carpaccio's magical power of I don't feel no pain. Come on, son. What the f is the deal? But Mash was like, oh, nah, forget that shit. I'm gonna give you your first taste. And that's basically what he did. He punches his magical mane until it breaks, then delivers an excruciating blow to Lao Yang's head. <laughs> that dude was like, this is pain? This is what I do to people? It hurts. <laughs> Payback's a bitch, ain't it? Sung Jin Woo versus C-Ranked Hunters. If you haven't watched Solo Leveling yet, you are doing yourself a disservice. Sun Jin Woo is pure stand on business energy. I mean, since he leveled up, he has had zero fucks to give. Nada, no hay, no existe. And these C rank hunters definitely tried his gangsta. First off, they left our boy and this lackey alone to deal with a dungeon boss hoping they die, but then had the nerve to come back to finish the job and collect all the money. My guy was like, that's not about to happen. Y'all niggas is dead, son. Sun Jin Woo proceeds to deliver these dudes some sweet chin music. And this dude just put his head on his shoulder, just offering up his neck. It's a violation. And if I don't wash y'all up, my heart's gonna stop. <gasps> Bet 
say less. You're done. Squad wipe. And the lead guy was the biggest bitch of them all because he immediately knew he was cooked. Shaky sword and everything. SJ Dub said, enough talk. Sit down. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. S rank starts begging for his life. I I I'll pay you. I'll pay you anything. My dad has money. Please. Sun Jin Woo was like, three times, my nigga. Three times you tried to unalive me and you want sympathy? F out of here. D didn't you hear me? I got money. You know what? Do you know who I am? Finish him. Fatality. Roy Mustang versus Envy. Now I'm not gonna lie, when Hughes died, I was inconsolable. Four days. So I knew when Roy got word, he wasn't gonna let that slide at all. He was most definitely pulling up on Envy, old bitches. And Envy got the nerve to be cocky about it too, like, what you gonna do, brother, when Envy comes after ya? Mustang shut that mouth up real quick. That dog in him manifested and he powered up to level 9,000. Thanos that dude into oblivion. Envy tried turning into Hughes' wife, snapped. Turned into Hughes, cooked. But Envy tried to turn into Mustang and sneak away like a little rat. And Roy spun that ultimate block and lit his ass up. Oh my God, it was amazing. Escanor versus Esterosa. Upon first glance, Escanor is like the wimpiest dude ever. Like, key mode, mode activated. activated. But looks can definitely be deceiving, and they are in this case, because Escanor is that nigga. And he had to show Esterosa what the deal was. I mean, look at him, squaring up like a MF and G. Ah! <laughs> I'm the MF and pride king of all sins, <laughs> Esterosa had the upper hand most of the fight, but he got a little too cocky. He was spamming full counter like Inuyasha spams Windscar. And he thought he had our boy beat, but our boy deaded that real quick with the most gangsta lines in anime history. My attacks have no effect on you? Who decided that? <laughs> Your darkness swallowed up my son? Who decided that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> I will be the one to decide. Die. Cool, son. Takayanagi versus Nagi. Being the new guy at school is hard enough, especially when everyone that attends is really strong. You gotta know to never underestimate your opponent. And Nagi found that out the hard way when he decided to fight the most chillest dude at school, Tagayanaki, for no reason whatsoever. And while Nagi is a street fighter at heart, that does not apply here. He was getting his behind beat. And he thought he could get the drop on Tagayanagi by pulling out a bento box that Bay made. Dumbest move ever. You're never going to get anywhere when you play dirty. And he activated Annihilation Mode. And Takayanagi served this dude up on a platter. In front of his bitch. Had him sitting on the roof, sad, battered, and bruised. Mm, mm, mm. Nanami versus Haruda. Jujutsu Kaisen is the embodiment of all hands on deck. Everyone is throwing hands and standing on business in this anime. And Nanami is the poster boy. Like this dude has no tolerance for fuck shit and no time for nonsense. So if you screw around with him, he is definitely going to set your behind all the way straight. And Haruda decided it was cute to test the waters. This dude is trash. Thought it was fun to prey on Nobara and her friend. And Nanami jumped in this fight like your boy from Princess Bride on some You killed my father. Prepare to die. Types. Obliterated Haruda. Squeezed him. Broke him down. Folded him and sent his ass to the gulag. That's a wrap. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, and Chopper versus the Frankie House. 
Yo, well, when it comes to a team standing 10 toes down for their comrade, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, and Chopper are them dudes. Okay, so when Usopp got bodied by the Frankie house and left crumble on the ground like some crumble up paper, his homies was like, nah, that shit ain't gonna fly. So the big homies had to pull up and this was like the coolest pull up I've seen in a while. These dudes strolled right up in there and proceeded to hand out all of the ass whoopings on foe and him. All right, so those are 10 stand on business moments in anime. How did we do? Let us know in the comments below what are your favorite stand on business moments in anime. And remember, if you around, you will most certainly find out who stands on business. Until next time, guys, we will see you. Take care of yourself. Later.